Hey everyone, what's up? It's John from the Big Apple Film Festival. So on June 16th, we have our web series and music video expo coming up. Uh, so all week we've been uh, profiling, talking about web series creators and music video creators. Um, and one of the things I want to talk about, I was reading some articles recently about how, you know, some people think that the music video genre is dying off. Uh, and based on what I see out there, based on what's on YouTube, I mean, that is clearly not the case. Uh, and today I want to talk about one, one company in particular, uh, Gordon Cowie Films. Uh, so uh, their company uh, uh, works on projects in New York, L.A., uh, Arizona, Vegas. So they're pretty much all over the country, and they're really creating some amazing work. Uh, so their music videos are you know, really cinema quality. Um, they, they do work for signed and unsigned uh, recording artists uh, in the U.S., uh, as well as uh, some international artists as well. Um, Gordon Cowie himself uh, is the director and he's founder of Gordon Cowie Films. Um, so he actually trained at the New York Film Academy, um, and uh, he's a music video editor. Um, he's also a cinematographer as well. Uh, he provides production and post-production services uh, for the development of music videos. Um, he does everything from color correction, grading, editing, all sorts of marketing services. Um, and basically, the purpose of him starting this company uh, was to revolutionize music videos um, in, uh, in a positive way to influence musicians, uh, record producers, audiences, and the mu music industry as a whole. Um, so, you know, what's, what's, really, uh, what's really great about, uh, about this company is that um, you know, not only do they make music videos, but they also help promote the music videos as well. Uh, so if you check out their website, um, uh, which is uh, Gordon Cowie, uh, uh, films com, uh you will see that they, um, they profile the musicians uh, who they produce music videos for. So they'll actually... Uh, interview the musicians, you know, ask them where they got the inspiration from uh, for the song, uh, how they started out, um, you know, what their goals are as musicians. They'll actually interview them and profile them. Uh, and then in addition to that, their website also has a blog on it where they give advice to aspiring musicians um, on uh, strategies for uh, succeeding as a musician, breaking into the music industry. Um, so really, they're a full-on service to help promote um, and increase awareness uh, for their for their musicians. Um, and, uh, some of the other um, members of the team are um, Alexandra Camo. Uh, she's a uh, producer and a script writer at Gordon Cowie Films. Um, she deals with um, developing the scripts, storyboards, um, casting, things of that nature. And then there's Andres Acosta, uh, who's a sound engineer, uh, deals with mixing and sound editing and sound design, ADR. Um, so, um, Andres has done, uh, work for clients like Warner Brothers and AMC, CW Television, uh, Stage 6 Media, um, and many others. Uh, so, you know, they are just a full service company and they're, they're really awesome. Um, uh, they offer, um, all sorts of packages from pre-production, production to post-production, uh, and just some examples of some of the videos definitely worth checking out. Uh, that they produced. Um, one is um, from a band called the Diamond Underground, and the song is titled "It's My War," and it's uh, shot in black and white. It's like got a really cool sort of old school cinematic look to it, which is really awesome. Um, they did a, uh, a, a music video um, called "Dil Terra Hagaya" by Saeed Sherahar, uh, which was um, uh, which is shot in New York City, and it's really cool because it's a very like. New York centric, New York, uh, it's got a real, like really cool New York city vibe to it. They shoot it in central park. Uh, there are scenes in times square. There are scenes in the subway. Uh, so it's got a really cool sort of New York look to it. Uh, so definitely, definitely like that one. Uh, then there's another one called, um, waves from a band called $11 bills. Um, also really cool to check out. Uh, they have a song, uh, another song called, uh, heels on, um, by AAD, Tony T, uh, JV and Dre Hines. Uh, so definitely check that one out as well. Uh, and they are currently uh, developing a feature film as well um, called Seven Devils, um, which is a contemporary adaptation of Washington Irving's uh, classic short horror story, The Devil and Tom Walker. Uh, so, you know, when I say that music videos are certainly not dead, I mean, Gordon Cowie Films is a great example of that. Uh, and obviously tons of other stuff that's on YouTube. Um, so definitely check these guys out and check out all the awesome music videos that are out right now. I mean, in many ways, they're even short films into them themselves. So, um, 
So definitely, uh, definitely check out what's going on in the world of music videos. And keep in mind that the Big Apple Film Festival uh, web series and music video expo is coming up June 16th. So if anybody has any questions or they want to submit any projects, feel free to get in touch. BigAppleFilmFestival.com.